guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how I went from this little 4C TWA to this curly fro style. And this video is sponsored by To All My Black Girls. <music> So this is how my hair looks in its natural state. Yes, it's very dry. I have very coily hair. And as you can see, I have an undercut and side shaves. The shrinkage is real, so I am gonna have to blow dry my hair out to achieve this style. So here's the hair provided by to all my black girls. It's natural, it's kinky, it's 100% human hair. And inside the box, it comes with a hair care maintenance guide just so you can get the most longevity out of your extensions. And I was sent their drawstring kinky curls ponytail. First things first, you're going to want to go ahead and co-wash your hair before you use it. You just want to get rid of any residues that might have been left behind and you also want to refresh the hair before you style it. Personally, I like to use the Tresme Expert Botanique. It's a little bit more gentle on natural hair extensions and you really want to make sure that you distribute it evenly throughout the hair and take this as an opportunity to go ahead and detangle. After five minutes, you're just gonna wanna go ahead and rinse it all out. Make sure you thoroughly rinse out the hair. You don't really want that leftover conditioner in there. So just make sure you rinse it until the water runs fully clear. I also like to stretch it out a little bit and give it a nice shake. That way it gets rid of any excess water that is left over. Next, you're gonna apply a leave-in conditioner. Pretty much anyone will do, but I tend to use Curly Girl Friendly leave-ins. And then you're just gonna follow it up by adding some type of oil back into the hair. They do recommend that you use argan oil, hence while I'm using the Cream of Nature Argan Oil Mist. This is my hair once it's blown out. I know guys, I told y'all the shrinkage was real. So what I'm gonna do is just go ahead and put it in a bun. It doesn't have to be a perfect bun. It just has to be tight enough and good enough that it will hold. Then I install the ponytail by stretching the mesh over my buns, pushing the combs in, and then pulling the drawstring. Once the ponytail is in place, you're just going to wrap the additional string around and then secure it with a bobby pin. You may need a few depending on how tight you pull it. Once that's done, I pretty much just take a few pieces of the hair and also wrap those around and pin it with another bobby pin. And this is pretty much just to conceal the drawstring. When you're done with that, give it a nice shake to make sure that it's all secure. Now, even when my hair was naturally long, I always like to fold these bandanas and make just a quick headband. So that's what you guys see me doing here. I feel like it's a cute little accessory that adds to the style and makes it just look a little less plain. As you guys can see, the hair has a lot of volume to it. It's very bouncy, it blends really well. I definitely was filling the hair once it was in. And you also can't even tell that my hair is blue anymore. Like imagine if you had something to go to where you just wanted to conceal your hair color very much temporarily, but you didn't wanna have to dye it all over again. Look at that. With a quick ponytail, it's like blue be gone. hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you give us a huge thumbs up be sure to subscribe and i hope you are all having an awesome week i'll catch you in the next video bye